rolling I'm just gonna start talking um, I am being set up by the Ward County I know this because I've had more than four people try to set me up and fail um, I'm mentioning this now because it's getting worse I was drugged illegally without my permission um, I had no idea what I was doing because it was not presented to me in a way that I knew what was going on until I started feeling the physical, mental effects of the illegal drug that was illegally planted in my system. Um, I don't do anything. I don't talk to anybody. I don't know anybody. I don't... I just want to be left the fuck alone. So, this goes back to all the current issues on police brutality, everything that's going on right now, the virus, the riots, or the protests, whatever. My point with that is that I almost got crashed into twice today. I don't know why. I don't want to look into it anymore. I just want to be left alone. But I'm telling you now that Walworth County or maybe even the surrounding counties are setting people up and they're doing it illegally. I caught it before they could send me to jail or do things that they can't really do under the law. Because I researched psychology. I researched law. I know what's happening, whether people want to believe me or not, that's up to them. Because every time I try and try and try and do so good, like, cars will be parked places and they'll follow me. Like, there'll be certain things that I've noticed that I have to notice to keep myself safe. Because I feel scared for my safety as a small 19 year old female. I am scared of authority due to them trying to set me up illegally. They were looking through my phone in ways that they're not allowed to do without a warrant. They are absolutely positively the more I speak about this, the more danger I am in. My father, who will remain unnamed, was beat up by a Lake Geneva, Lake Como cop in 2017 when I was a minor. Now that I'm an adult, they're coming after me because of my last name. And because of what I may or may not have done in my past, which is nothing like I had previously said. So I am being harassed by the county, by the people who are working with the county. They're going through so many loopholes. There's so many different things that is going on right now that I literally don't fully understand and I don't have to fully understand but I do have to put it out there that I'm in danger and I am scared for my life because of everything that's going on and all the things that I've been noticing um, of, about me personally, about those who are around me the people who I used to be involved with are not nice people whatsoever because of what they got into themselves. It's okay. People make mistakes. But don't drag me into those mistakes. I may have done things in my past. That are unruly. And possibly not the best. But I tried 
to stop and get out of it and leave the situation completely. But for me to do that, I had to change my number. I had to move. I had to get completely different everything for me to feel safe. Because all you need to track someone's location is a smartphone, an IP address, a Wi-Fi, whatever. Technology is ridiculously invasive. Ridiculously. And the fact that um, they're using all this and they're not doing this in a way that is legal. And they're doing it in a way that is unsafe for me, a young female who's doing nothing wrong. Who never did anything wrong. I am being persecuted. I believe. For something that I did not do. And therefore it is labeled. As a setup. I'm making this video. Because. With all this going on. Like I said the protests. Everything. It's easy to hide. Something something that people don't think is even an issue in the first place it is 6 51 on tuesday june 2nd and i am afraid and i am a small female who right now is traveling alone in her car with all the information that i've gained to keep myself out of trouble even though i'm not doing anything i'm not doing anything and that's why it's called the setup. Because I don't know why. I don't care why. I'm just trying to keep myself safe and out of trouble. And people keep trying to drag me down. I'm going to name some names here. Mercedes Sharkis. John Sharkis. Stephen Compton. Jason Ulrich. Xander Torres. Samantha Frost. I'm not snitching anymore if this is... That's not a snitch. I'm naming their names. I didn't tell you what they did. But I said I'm going to name some names here. These people have hurt me for unjust reasons. The Marriott Fairfield Inn is where everybody, whether it be local or not is staying in Lake Geneva I see certain things that I don't like to see uh, that lead me to find out more information now I have all this proof all this evidence in a file and I'm gonna say this once more I'm scared because they think that I'm going to expose them because I'm not the only one that this happened to and this is ridiculous and they can't and they won't get away with this if something happens to me and I'm making this as a personal record as well as anybody were to listen to this this is part of the brutality the corruption the wrongfulness that Walworth County and the surrounding counties, the state of Wisconsin in general, the protocols, the misconduct, the way they handle things is ridiculous. And that's why I'm here making this video because I feel unsafe. I don't feel like I can go out in public alone. I don't feel like I can drive my car without almost getting ran into and it's insane it's ridiculous I'm scared and I'm letting the world know that I'm scared of police I'm scared of everybody um not everybody but people who think that they can hurt me there's a bunch of them out there Lake Geneva is the town the date is Tuesday, June 2nd. I trust no one. I was framed. This is a setup. And I am scared. Because I am an innocent woman who's done nothing wrong. Thank you for listening. 
And if something happens to me personally, this is why. Because I'm exposing them. Because I'm letting people know what's really going on. And because I was unwillingly drugged, which not only affected my mind, it affected my body. I am sick because of what they put in me without me knowing. I'm going to end with this statement. I do everything I can to keep myself and those around me who I care about safe, regardless of what that is. I'm a good person. I do good things for good people. And that's why I know these things, because the names that I listed, they were victims of this too. They weren't just people. They were victims of things that they didn't want to do. They were told to do these things or they would get in trouble themselves or something bad would happen to them. So those names that I listed, I'm not snitching, I'm telling the truth and I'm saying that these people were also set up. But I'm not about to be set up and I'm not about to join the crowd and I'm not about to go over to the dark side of this ridiculously horrible, horrible thing that's going on in this community and me in general, anything really. This is this is a 12 minute video for a reason I spoke my mind. And if anybody has a problem with that, it can come to me. But there's something really bad going on here. And I don't like it, I don't like it at all. I got a whiff of it and I'm not going near it again. I'm done. I want everybody to know that I'm innocent. That the people that I listed, not all of them, not all of them. Some people I still care about, but I had to cut ties with because of what happened. So therefore I do so to keep myself safe. So I thank you for whoever may be listening to this. Just remember, keep on your toes. Um, be safe, be smooth. Don't trust authority. Don't trust anybody like that because regardless of what you're doing, I'm not doing anything. I've never done anything and they're still trying to get me. So yes, I'm making this video to keep myself safe. And I appreciate the time that everybody has taken to listen to this if anyone is listening. You won't know my name, but this is my face. This is what I look like. And I'm innocent. This is what an innocent 19-year-old female looks like. This is ridiculous. Walworth County, state of Wisconsin. No more.